listening in to the sounds of Sunset Beach. Day two here at the Hurley Pro Sunset Beach. Into the round of 16. And the non-priority heat in the water, Baron Mamiya versus David Silva. This is Baron Mamiya on his opening wave. Nice turn for the youngster from the North Shore of Oahu. I'm Kaipo Guerrero, joined by 88 world champ Barton Lynch and talking through this afternoon. And he's persevered throughout all of the challenges. And it's really, re it's a touching story for me to see Kaio's success right now. David Silva on a white watery wave, but he slices through that no problem. Loads up off the bottom. And again, through some chunks, keeps it on rail. Let's see if he has the closer. And solid footed, David Silva puts it down. Beautifully said, so solid on his feet. And we saw that in that first searing carb through a white watery lumpy kind of face. And he looks so comfortable on that board. Having the consistency and knowing your board just takes one of those massive elements out of your performance. That was a fantastic turn. Beautiful, powerful driving, sitting on the rail for the exact amount of time into the closeout, projected away from the white water back in there that may have destabilized him. As we look at it on the replay, he throws that board up and projects out towards our left, away from that white water in there, gets the completion and a fantastic opening ride. Looks so strong, so confident. Both Zeke and Geordie have been sort of throwing away their priority, giving it to the other guy, then going and not turning it into anything, giving it back, and it's been sort of to and froing between them without anyone sort of really staking the claim on this heat. So both of them, two of the standouts without question um, here at Sunset Beach and in any big strong right-hander, these guys come straight to mind as two of the favourites. But meanwhile, David Silva just continues his assault, BL. <laughs> Straight up into the lip. The power in those bottom turns, the authority in everything that he's doing. And he's sure lucky that these Red Bull jet skis are available. Another beautiful top turn. <laughs> a wild, bumpy face. Maintains it. Don't necessarily see that improving on the 583 if there was nothing before that one turn. Zeke Lau in the bottom of the screen there on the jet ski, heading back out. But that was a... A real priority mistake mm -hmm. from Zeke Lau, wasn't it? And these guys are showing the nerves of the opportunity that presents. And I suppose you'd look at the draw and go, John John Florence, out. Uh, if, if nothing happens and Zeke Lau doesn't improve and holds on for the lead, it almost feels like, you know, that that's kind of like the right way for it to go because he's been in the lead the whole time, but you never, never know. On the inside, David Silver just back at work, Kaipo. Yeah, he's just happy to pick these off way away from the rest of the competitors. No harm, no foul on this one. He'll straighten out and get a ski ride back to the peak. Go to weareoneocean.org and learn how you can get involved. Baron Mamiya attacking Sunset Beach now in the priority heat against David Silva. Let's look to our championship tour leaderboard. Kelly Slater eliminated from competition. And uh, Seth Moniz, you can see that number two position in live rankings. If Seth was able to come out of this heat, He's going to be in that number one spot. Meanwhile, Baron Mamiya just hammered a very, very difficult wave to ride. Well done. It's just getting wild with it, wasn't he? Just throwing himself at it and attacking the lip. Here we go on the replay. Jumps to the feet. Waits. Bides his time. Smaller wave. Nice wrap on the first turn. Starts to stand up down the inside. Another beautiful carve out of the top. Clean. Pretty into that last radical turn just throws it up aggressively a couple of 4.77s before that potentially his best wave of the heat so far i don't know that it matches the 583 or the 683 or you know perhaps or the 65 should i say of david silver's bigger waves beautiful open face but the surfing performance is definitely there uh, perhaps it needs to be on a more attractive wave but still look at this carve and power this young man brings and he's definitely a superstar of the future yeah, and the short-footedness to throw it up there. Yeah. It's just some difficult water to ride through and comes out complete. You know, the other thing, and uh, it'd be interesting to ask Strider this, is that I've noticed that as Sunset drops, here we go, up and riding, going straight, that interference situation, he jumps off. Oh, staying way clear. Smart surfing by Nat Young because David Silva utilizes his priority and, again, just picking some really good waves out here and performing. Another slash off the top and a hooking turn to finish. Wow. Strider 
give us your input on the conditions and what you're seeing out there. To get from the inside ledge back to the outside peak, that's a long way to go. Uh, here we go, Seth just coming back out into the lineup. He's psyching, getting some words with Reynos right now. He's on a 6-4, he's ready for action. <laughs> Thank you, Strider. We're watching a replay of David Silva at this point with a 6.27 for this performance on the replay BL. The priority is a great thing to have, and the seven minutes is enough time to get two rides, you would imagine. So here he goes, I think this is him. All right, this is going to be an important wave. Patiently off the bottom, nice, all the way around, hooking turn off the top. Again, patient and snapping through that section one more time and can't get the third turn, so the score is going to rely on those two turns. A bigger wave, a set wave. It was good to see him on, on, on the set wave. Those other scores were on, on smaller waves without the priority at the, that time, and then the 587 um, was, a, was, was a, not exactly a big set wave as well, so he needs a 6.9. Drives that first turn. Beautiful car. Clean, easy, up into the lip, snaps it. Two nice turns, and whoa, 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 see there, things just got out of control, and um, uh, I suppose the first turns actually now on replay appear better than I thought they were first time around. Mm -hmm. You? Yeah, I mean, I think that's the, the analysis you can see, and it's always impressive when you see it in slow motion. Of course, the judges will never see this in slow motion. They'll see it from a fixed angle on the replay, but they will allow themselves multiple views before putting a score down for a certain five minutes and 40 seconds counting down. It, it feels like it's going to improve on the 477 and, and replace that. How high it goes is gonna determine the long-term outcomes in this heat. Here we go. Look out for David Silva, however. The deep bottom turn, hooking top turn connection continues for the goofy foot out of Brazil and again just able to time everything so well and he's had a great heat yeah. from start to finish he's constantly being in it he's got a 583 a 463 that he's throwing away he looks fantastic on the waves he's caught and he's caught good waves and then you go but my opponent still only needs a 6.9 and I feel like everything's been going my way. You never force those scores high enough to take it away from Baron Mamiya and that's how it feels right now to me. You can say that David Silva's certainly been on the best waves in this heat, so that's been going in his favor, but the pure talent of Baron Mamiya is not to be ignored. And the beautiful surfing that he's been doing, those backhand vertical tight re-entries just like that one into the lip but we see a couple of scores dropping and, whoa, one that would, above that. Yeah, we see some swell Ooh, as well. another above it. So, David Silva is gonna surf through this one, has to skip a section there. Not, again, trademark backhand hook as he kicks out. Still waiting for the number for Baron Mamiya to set the stage. A 7.03, Mamiya takes the lead over David Silva just like that, BL. Wow, I had that feeling that it was one of those heats that he'd done so well, and I don't know that he'd done anything wrong. Yeah, and someone like Baron Mamiya is gonna be happy to just take this one on the head just to keep his position on David Silva. He's gonna to wanna to play a little bit of defense, or perhaps I spoke too soon, because he's just gonna give it up Put on the offensive hat, and he wants another score. Big hack from Baron Mamiya. Steep section on the inside here. Has to time it right all the way back around for a second hook. And looking to improve upon his 5.87 and seal the deal. Here's David Silver. He's up and riding, Kaipo. Here he goes. Big oh, off the top and no. big wipe out. David Silva, and that's going to be the end for him. And it is going to be Baron Mamiya, our first quarterfinalist in quarterfinal number two. Who's he going to meet up against? Is it going to be Seth Moniz, Nat Young? That answer when we return.